Good night, viewers. Here are tonight's headlines. A cyclist has been fatally struck in a tragic accident in Georgetown, while on the West Bank Demerara, a mother of four has been fatally stabbed by her estranged husband. Overseas, a Guyanese-born doctor has tragically lost their life in a highway accident in Alabama. Closer to home, a man has tragically died after being pinned by an excavator on the West Bank Demerara, and two young girls have drowned during a birthday celebration at Enchanter Creek. Former Region 4 Chairman Alan Monroe has passed away at the age of 91. Additionally, Andrena is now wanted for trafficking in persons. Stay tuned for further details on these stories. Guyanese-born doctor tragically killed in Alabama highway accident. The medical community and the Guyanese diaspora are mourning the sudden death of Dr. Malcolm Goodchild, a 50-year-old Guyanese-born U.S. general surgeon who tragically lost his life in a two-vehicle accident on Saturday night in Opelika, Alabama. According to the Opelika Police Department, at approximately 7.17 p.m. on Saturday, emergency services responded to a call regarding a serious collision on Interstate 85. Upon arrival, emergency crews found a Tesla, driven by Dr. Goodchild, and a Toyota 4Runner, which had collided head-on. Dr. Goodchild's Tesla reportedly burst into flames following the crash. First responders successfully extracted the occupants from both vehicles and rushed them to nearby hospitals. Dr. Goodchild was airlifted to Piedmont Columbus Regional Hospital in Columbus, Georgia, where he was later pronounced dead. The passenger in Dr. Goodchild's car remains hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries, while the driver of the Toyota 4Runner is in critical condition. Preliminary investigations by the Opelika Police Department suggest that the Toyota 4Runner was traveling in the wrong direction on the highway's exit ramp before crashing into Dr. Goodchild's Tesla. Authorities are continuing their investigation into the cause of the accident. Dr. Malcolm Goodchild was well known for his medical contributions to Guyana, being part of an overseas medical team that traveled to the country annually to perform surgeries in Linden and other regions. Originally from New Amsterdam, Burbis, Dr. Goodchild had made a significant impact both in his homeland and the U.S. Friends, colleagues, and loved ones have taken to social media to pay tribute, remembering him as a compassionate and dedicated professional who was also a devoted family man. Dr. Goodchild had recently celebrated his 50th birthday in November of last year. The investigation into the tragic accident is ongoing, and further details are expected to emerge as authorities continue their work. Andrena wanted for trafficking in persons. The Guyana police force is seeking the public's assistance in locating Andrena, who is wanted in connection with a serious offense of trafficking in persons. The offense occurred between May and August 1, 2024, in the Rob Street area of Georgetown. Andrena, who resides on Rob Street, Georgetown, is alleged to have been involved in trafficking activities during this period. Police are actively investigating the matter and are urging anyone with information about Andrena's whereabouts to come forward. If you have seen Andrena or have any information that may assist the police, please contact the following numbers immediately. 2271149 Mother of four fatally stabbed by estranged husband on West Bank Demerara. Action News reports tragedy struck today as a mother of four was brutally stabbed to death by her estranged husband at Free and Easy, West Bank Demerara. The victim, whose name has not been released, had recently escaped an abusive relationship and was hiding at her relative's home after enduring years of physical and emotional torment. The suspect, identified only as Lord, had been relentlessly searching for his wife since her departure. Despite living in fear and taking precautions to avoid being found, the woman was tragically discovered by her estranged husband around noon. In a violent confrontation, she was fatally stabbed. Following the attack, the suspect fled the scene and attempted to evade capture by covering himself in mud along the foreshore. However, determined residents launched a search and located the suspect. Before being apprehended, he inflicted several stab wounds on himself in an apparent attempt to take his own life. The suspect was subsequently arrested and transported to a nearby hospital, where he remains under police guard. His condition is currently unknown, though eyewitnesses have reported that his injuries do not appear to be life-threatening. The victim's tragic death leaves behind four children, marking the devastating conclusion of what had been a harrowing history of abuse. Investigations are ongoing as law enforcement authorities work to bring justice to this heart-wrenching case. 
Man tragically dies after being pinned by excavator in West Bank Demerara. In a heartbreaking accident, Joseph Hollingsworth, a 49-year-old machine operator of Lot 1177, Section B Pattinson, Turkian, Greater Georgetown, lost his life after being pinned by an excavator. The incident occurred at approximately 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, September 7, 2024, at Coglon Dam, Puderoyan, West Bank Demerara. According to investigations, Hollingsworth had been hired by businessman Travis Pierpont of Onderneeming, Parfait Harmony, West Bank Demerara, to transport an excavator using motor truck GAE 4266, owned by Pierpont. The accident transpired after Hollingsworth realized that the truck could not safely handle the weight of the excavator. While attempting to offload the heavy machinery, the excavator slipped off the truck and fell into a drain, pinning Hollingsworth. Public-spirited citizens rushed to Hollingsworth's aid, retrieving him from the drain and transporting him to the West Demerara Regional Hospital. Tragically, he was pronounced dead on arrival by the attending physician. Hollingsworth's body was subsequently moved to Ezekiel Funeral Home, where it awaits a post-mortem examination. The investigation into this unfortunate incident is ongoing. The family, friends, and colleagues of Joseph Hollingsworth are in our thoughts during this difficult time. Our deepest condolences go out to all those affected by this tragic loss. Former Region 4 Chairman Alan Monroe passes away at 91. The family of Alan Ewart Monroe, JPAA, has announced the passing of the former Region 4 Chairman. Monroe, a highly respected figure in education, civil engineering, and public service in Guyana, died on September 6, 2024. He was 91 years old. Alan Monroe's distinguished career began in the 1950s as a primary school teacher. He later studied civil engineering in England, which marked the start of an illustrious career that spanned decades. Monroe held numerous influential positions, including principal of the new Amsterdam Technical Institute, deputy chief education officer, and permanent secretary across several government ministries. In addition, Monroe served as chairman of both the Teaching Service Commission and the Sugar Industry Labor Welfare Fund Committee. He was instrumental in establishing President's College as its project manager and led the Regional Democratic Council, RDC, of Region 4 for 21 years, driving significant growth and development during his tenure. His dedication to public service extended to his active involvement with the People's National Congress, PNC, from 1965, where he held key leadership roles. His accomplishments earned him widespread recognition, including the prestigious Ryerson Gold Medal for Technology in 1971, making him the first Guyanese to receive the award. In 2016, he was honored with the Golden Arrow of Achievement. Alan Monroe is survived by his wife of 59 years, Mayfield Monroe, their son, Hugh Kwame Monroe, and his grandchildren Kareem, Letitia, Kadisha, Akaba, and Tamara. He was predeceased by his son, Ian Mark Allen Monroe. His legacy of excellence in education, governance, and public service will continue to inspire future generations. The Monroe family has requested privacy during this time of mourning. Two young girls drown at Enchanter Creek during birthday celebration. Tragedy struck on Sunday afternoon, September 8, 2024, as two young girls, Akira La Rose, age 10, and Joy Lynn Jack, aged 11, drowned while attending a birthday celebration at Enchanter Creek along the linden slash Dyke Highway. According to the Guyana Police Force, the incident occurred around 3.30 p.m. Akira, from Stuartville, West Coast Demerara, and Joy Lynn, from Tushin, East Bank Essequibo, were at the creek with family members, including their grandmother, 53-year-old Allison Class, and Joylin's father, Oswald Jack. The gathering was to celebrate Akira's birthday. Eyewitnesses reported that the two girls were playing in the water when they suddenly disappeared. Family members and local authorities immediately launched a search, and tragically, the children were found unresponsive in the creek. Despite the efforts of emergency services and concerned civilians who rushed the girls to the Diamond Diagnostic Center, they were pronounced dead upon arrival. Preliminary police investigations have revealed no signs of foul play. The bodies have been transported to Memorial Gardens Funeral Home for post-mortem examinations to determine the official cause of death. Authorities are continuing their investigation into the incident. Cyclist fatally struck in Georgetown accident. The Guyana Police Force, GPF, is currently investigating a fatal road accident that claimed the life of a cyclist in Regional Division No. 4. <coughs> the incident occurred at approximately 23.20 hours on Delhi Street and involved motor car pack 1898, 
owned by Dolores Benjamin and driven by 27-year-old Shaquille Benjamin of Lot 254 Section, Sixth Enterprise, East Coast, Demerara. The deceased has been identified as 30-year-old Marlon Fraser, though his address remains unknown at this time. Preliminary investigations have revealed that both the motor car and the pedal cyclist were traveling south along the eastern lane of Delhi Street. It is alleged that Fraser, the cyclist, attempted to cross the street from east to west, entering the path of the oncoming vehicle. The driver of Pack 1898 stated that he tried to take evasive action, but unfortunately, the front left section of the car collided with the cyclist. As a result of the collision, Fraser was thrown onto the road, sustaining severe injuries. Emergency medical services were immediately summoned, and a doctor from Georgetown Public Hospital later pronounced him dead at the scene. Fraser's body has been transported to the Memorial Gardens Funeral Home, where it awaits a post-mortem examination. Investigations into the incident are ongoing. The GPF urges anyone with additional information regarding the accident to come forward to assist with the inquiry.